drinking this protein. I'm about to take a shower. I'm exhausted from working out. Like, oh. Mm. Make some poker soup. I'm making. Uh, let me get the seasonings out. I have not got the seasonings out yet. I'm gonna be using chicken seasoning, salt for taste. I bought the salt in Nigeria, so I didn't buy it here. They don't sell it here, and I got this time in Nigeria. Um. And what else to do on my nail? Yeah. Oh. We're gonna be some curly powder. And that's it for now. If you guys wanna see me, if you guys wanna see me season it, not too much salt. Oh. This is the salt I'm using. It's Mr. Chef. It's inside of a Ziploc bag. I already put the curry. I already put the chicken seasoning. Now I'm about to put some thyme. And I'm going to stir this meat. And I'm going to show you which all meat I have inside of here. Hold on. I'll be back. I gotta get my turn in, like a, a spoon. You don't have to put too much meat in here because you know goat meat makes its own water. This is just the intestine of the cow. Oh shoot, I'm splashing. It's called honeycomb. And I just have goat meat in here. And that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna stare it and then I'll come back. Let me try to turn this circle. I need my other hand, so. I don't like putting too much water in my meat when I first start boiling it because I want that seasoning from this water to soak into this meat. So yeah. After 10 minutes, 20, well me, I wait 20 minutes. Some people say 10. I feel like 20 minutes is better because it gives more time, you know what I mean? To marinate, soak into the seasoning. And what else I do, I always do, I put the lid on it. I always put the lid on top. And again, I'm making okra soup, so. Yeah, it's just, it's just honeycomb, which is a cow stomach, intestine, side of the stomach, whatever the thing is, the stomach of the cow, and goat meat. That is it, that is all. I'm about to turn this fan on because it's gonna, you know, get steamy up in here and I don't want my, um, microwave like leaking water from the humidity so yeah <clears throat> i'll come back and check on it in you know 20 minutes time so i can add water and fill it up see what i said don't add no water because this goat meat is going to create its own water oh now you see why i said don't add no water because this goat meat is going to create its own water you see all that water from the goat meat yeah so it's no need to create Oop, i'm splashing there's no need to add water. I'm going to add some water within 10 minutes. It is 914, so within 10 minutes, I'm going to add some water. You guys would like to see this, but this is frozen spinach I got from this Arabic store. I'm going to be putting spinach inside of the okra soup. I like to use frozen spinach versus fresh spinach when I make okra soup because it's more easier and quicker to make with the frozen spinach. You can use fresh spinach, it don't matter, it's your decision. Or water leaf, you know, water leaf is the same thing as spinach, so. I rather, it's just another name for spinach. I rather use the frozen one because I can squeeze the water out of the, um, the frozen spinach, all the water, you know, so. That's why I use frozen spinach, it's just faster and easier because if you use fresh spinach, you're still gonna have to if you use fresh spinach, you're still gonna have to drain all this water out. Do you see all that water in this spinach? And I just took it from the bag. Yeah, so it's better just to use a frozen one so you can squeeze all the water out with your hand because you don't want your soup too runny, you know, okra soup. You want, it's soup, but you don't want it too watery, you know what I mean? So it's better, well, I feel like it's better to 
by the frozen spinach a lot of people don't they like it fresh but you still want to have to get all that water from the soup it's just gonna it's just time consuming you know frozen spinach is just simple and easier and quicker but i still have to chop okra so my okra is trash i'll come back when i start chopping my okra which i'm not going to start until my meat has halfway you know halfway almost done cooking because i don't want my okra sitting too long after it's chopped because you know it can start turning colors you want it to stay fresh as possible so right now my okra is inside the fridge still even though the spinach is frozen you still want to clean your spinach you understand so i'm going to clean it that's all I have to do this bowl. I'm going to let it soak a little bit. And I'm going to blend. Well, I'm not going to blend the tomato. I said tomato. <laughs> I'm not going to build a bell pepper, onion, and the um, pepper. You know, the spicy habanero pepper. Into oh, my beet is halfway done cooking because I'm not using it no time soon. So let me just let this finish sit. And I will be back. Toodles. And the okra. I'm actually cutting the okra. I'm sorry, I forgot to come back. I'm cutting the okra, or slicing the okra. And I just blend it a few. This is like 16, I believe so. This is what's gonna give it the draw. This is just, it's gonna give it draw as well, but you also wanna still have some, you still wanna have some uh, blended okra. Cause you want that draw. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm cutting this okra. And I am not a chef, so do not come for me. I'm not a chef. I just know how to cook for myself, okay? And some of these, I'm going to cut it like a, a half. I have the okra in the sink because I cleaned some. I have it in the sink because I cleaned some. And... I had a I had the bag in the sink because I was cleaning them. I said some, I meant all. I cleaned them all, of course. You know, this is just the fastest way to cut okra. My nails is long, so. You know. Like I said, I am not a chef. I just know how to cook for myself. Do not cut your pieces too big because you want them to be, you know, not too big chunks. You want it to be just right and so. And like I said before, I'm going to slice some of these in half. So let me try to flip it to the back. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me see. For an example like this, just cut some of them in half like this. Not all, just some. You still want some four pieces, but yeah, just cut some in half. It's just my way of cooking. I like to cut some in half. So. You see how some of it is becoming slimy? But anyways, let me show you guys what I'm boiling. That is don't mind this this is just from the pepper i'm blending but this is what i was saying i cut some and i have some right here that i'm about to pour inside of the um this pot let me show you guys what this pot is looking like and this is what it's looking like in here this is what it's looking like <clears throat> guys it's optional but i like to add my crayfish before i start um i add the okra i didn't even show you guys but this is a crayfish i'm using i brought it in nigeria so i didn't buy it here but this is the one i'm using so, let that boil for like one or two minutes then i'm gonna add this okra i have to add the okra remember i said i blended that okra Ooh, it's gonna be hard to get it out of here okay i get it out I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this. 
just gonna loosen up once I add the water. Cause I'm gonna put a little leaf stock in here with this. This is not all the okra. This is just the one I blended. I'm just trying to loosen it up. I'm just trying to loosen it up. You see how it's loosening? I'm gonna just stir it to, it's not comfy anymore. You see, you see, you see. This thing just work. You have to have the arm to cook. You have to have the arm. If you know, you know. <sighs> This stuff is not easy. Cooking is not easy. I'm gonna try to drop this without spilling it everywhere. Just put the ground. I'm just saying. This is how it's looking so far. This is how it's looking. I'm about to add a little water to loosen it up. But this is how it's supposed to look. Let me add some water. I'm gonna add a little water like this and I'm gonna add some meat stock. And I'm gonna add a little of my meat stock. Just a little, not too much. And I'm gonna let this boil for a little bit. That's pepper. If you wanted to know what's all this redness, that is pepper. That is pepper. I could add some more of these chunks of okra if I wanted to. I might still add some more from my fridge. Yeah, I might. I think I'm gonna add some more okra. This is how your okra soup should be looking. I'm gonna let this boil for a little minute. Because uh, it still needs to cook. You see the way I, <laughs> I use my arm, like my hand? Because you want it to mix in really well. So, everyone makes their okra different. This is the way I make mine. And it always comes out good, so. It cooks different, this is the way I cook mine, so. Everyone cooks different. So. Whatever floats your boat. Oh, I should have added some dry fish. It's too late. It's fine. It's cool. And it's very spicy. That's what all that redness is. The redness is pepper, if you wanted to know. And the redness is pepper. Mm. Oh, shoot. Woo. The redness is pepper. way it's starting to draw by itself you see you see what I mean it's drawing that's what you want Come on. the reason why my okra looks so red <clears throat> is because it's pepper in here what I added before like why I blended it was in the pot it was pepper it was just peppers I like to add pepper to my soup because I like my soup spicy you see how it's drawing? That's how your okra should look like this. It should draw like this. Yeah, so don't mind the redness. It's gonna boil out. It's just pepper. Well, it's not gonna boil out, but you know, the color will change once it starts boiling. Let me leave this and let me let this start boiling. Ooh, okra. Then I'll add the vegetables. At the end, you'll add the spinach, the water leaf or whatever. Spinach, water leaf, same thing. Well, it's not really the, this is the thing. People say spinach and water leaf is the same thing. 
it's actually not to me because the texture is so different you know so yeah it's different <clears throat> i prefer water leaf but i didn't buy any water leaf uh, i brought spinach but you see my soup is it's not done anyway so but this is the process this is how it should be looking So right now I'm about to use the seasoning cube, chicken seasoning cube. Okay, if I can get it to come out. Oh, this one thing about the stuff here in America, it's not fresh at all. Like, oh my goodness, it's ridiculous. Like I always have to order my stuff on Etsy. These are not from Etsy, these are from one of these local grocery stores and it is just, you know I have to use the spoon to, Crush it. Let me show you the ones I <clears throat> ordered from Etsy. Let me show you one of the ones. Because I'm only using one. Let me show you the difference. Just watch this. I'm trying to open it with my mouth because you know I only have two hands. Look at this. You see this? Look. Look at this. You see what I mean? It breaks right in your hand. See? The other stuff do not look. I cannot break that with my hand. This one crumbles right in your hand. 